Hi, Tim here from Proclaim AV, and today we're going to talk about Bluetooth, or blue teeth. Let's check it out. So I get this question pretty often, and that is, how do I connect something with Bluetooth to my sound system? And so I have a couple things to start with. One, Bluetooth is generally not a great idea if you're going to be playing back video, because there's enough latency in Bluetooth that your video and your audio are not going to sync up together, and you're going to have some lip sync problems. So if you're thinking about playing back video, that computer should have a hard audio connection to make sure that those things will sync up pretty close. Uh, but for music playback, they're a great little item to have. And so we've got two here. Um, one is the Alto Professional Bluetooth Total. Uh, the cool thing about this guy is that if you buy two of them, you can link them together because there's an additional stereo link button. And then you can plug both of them into your board and you'll have a stereo connection. I guess you'd pan each channel right and left. So that's interesting. And the other one we have is the OnStage BC1000. And this is a similar unit, but it does not, you can't pair two of them together. It just converts everything from stereo into mono because you're plugging into a single channel. Um, and we'll test the stereo to mono on both of these units in a minute. The other one I'm using is an Amazon um, uh, home kind of a home stereo Bluetooth interface, um, an Amazon Basics one. It's pretty old, uh, but I just happened to have it around. So I thought, hey, let's throw that in for comparison's sake. So let's get started with some testing. Okay, so now we have all of these plugged into the board. Um, and so we're going to start with the Amazon one. I have a special clip that I've made. Um, it's a stereo clip. And so partway through, either the left or right channel will cut out so that we'll know, do these units combine or are they just mono, just in case something weird happens here. So I wanna test that. So we'll start with the Amazon unit because then you'll be able to hear the clip um, as we play it. So let's play our clip here. Okay, so there's our Amazon um, Bluetooth interface. Um, that's kind of our starting point. So next, let's test the Alto Professional unit. Let me switch that over in my laptop. Okay, so that's the Alto Professional. Let's disconnect it and see what sort of noise we get when we disconnect. Disconnect. Ah, ah, no. Yikes. We have not changed levels, by the way, from the, the music to the connect, disconnect stuff is all the same level. We haven't changed that. So let's try the, the BC 1000. So let's power it on. Okay.
Okay, so there we go. Now let's disconnect that device from uh, my laptop here. And we will see if it beeps loudly or what it does here. Uh, disconnect. Um, the beep connect sound is quite pleasant on the BC-1000. I am very impressed because sometimes the beeping connect sound for Bluetooth stuff is obnoxious. And you know what I'm talking about. And you don't want that coming over a PA system. So, Okay, so that's the end of our testing session. What is my conclusion? Well, a couple of things. One, if you're in a permanent situation, like your sound system in your church building, you're probably better off using one of those small um, home stereo Bluetooth boxes and wiring it into a stereo channel if you're bored. Um, just be careful when you pair it up that it doesn't make an obnoxious beep over the live system. So just leave the channel muted and then pair it up. But that's great. However, if you need to um, use Bluetooth in a portable situation or you just want to have something to carry around with you to add Bluetooth to any kind of a balanced uh, system, I'm going to have to go with the BC-1000. Um, it just really is fantastic. I like the build quality. It's like a a metal um, case. The end of it here is plastic. Both of these do have the USB micro charging port. Um, the Alto, I mean, it's cool. It, it, you could do stereo, but I wasn't really impressed with the audio quality. I felt it sounded kind of tinny. And the Alto is all made of plastic, like the whole... The whole thing is plastic. It does have the same charging port, but the charging port is on the side. Um, at first I thought it would be a problem because the Alto plugs in like the slim way and the BC plugs in the wide way, but I had no trouble on my mixer board um, fitting uh, plugs on either side on the board. So anyway, that's my conclusion. Are you gonna be permanent? It's much more cost effective to buy the small box. Do you want something quick and portable? BC 1000 all day long. Now I can't speak to longevity, so I'll carry this around a while and we'll see how it does. Anyway, I hope that helps and thanks for watching.